How's it going at home, wherever you are? My name is Turbo Films, and welcome back to Dishonored with Bowels. Because why not? I got a corn of Dan here, and the poster of Sokolov's Elixir. A couple of them, actually. And Greaves and Lightning Out, out of, of Lightning Oil, not Lightning Out. I don't even know what the difference is between Lightning Out and Oil, but hey. That's just my problem. I got my magic skills in the previous episode, as I did. Get visited by the outsider. And I don't even know where I'm going. Alright. So, also, I unlocked this skill. Let's see what it does. I don't even know. Oh! oh awesome! I can see what people are. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm actually gonna. Oh. I can see my thumb, I guess. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? I'm just sneaking and listening to people. I'm gonna see if these have, these have updated. Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 27. In my 13th year, the despised stepmother at last departed, and Pendleton Hall was again quiet. Although Father had by then sunk into deep depression. It was at this sensitive time that Waverly Boyle first entered my life. She who will be the source of many tender recollections to come. Alright, so they have been updated, which is quite good. So there's more story to get. Oh, nothing in here. And is there anything under the bed? I like how he's drinking a lot. I mean a lot. He has like four bottles here. And I don't even know who's playing with a Shane somewhere. Let's see. Corpo seems to have arrived in good shape. Much better than I expected, given what I've seen of Coldridge Prison. He seems willing to work with us, and he shouldn't lack for motivation. The man has lost everything. We'll judge how he performs in the field. And if I can, I'll find a way to test him personally. Okay. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewers. They had not returned. So I can only hope that I succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the double navy would secure its place as a dominant force on the globe. But 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 back to Corvo. He can actually break. Can he actually break out of Coldrush? And if so, will he make his way here? I pen personal give per personally. I don't even know. Personally. Personally! Alright, got it. Give him out the one in five. You can't trust me, Havelock. I don't enjoy that. Distrust. Distrust, I don't know. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The Weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Okay, I'm gonna stay loyal and steal this thing, whatever it is. I'm just probably going to talk to Havelock before anyone of you get bored. So, this gonna be fun. Alright, Havelock! Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Yes, sir. All right, let's Hello. move out. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Yes, sir. I don't even now know why I'm calling you sir, but Skill. Oh, hello. Skill. First. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. 
I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Yeah, Before might... you became an assassin. I might try to save him. I cannot promise that I will, but I'll try for certain. All right, Samuel. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Peter. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Let's go. Take me to the distillery district. Moving out, my mask is now activated. Oh, distillery district. Bone charms give you a small bonus when applied in the journals. Use the heart to hunt for bone charms. Okay. Game, come on, answer me. Don't do this now. Why are you doing Alright, you worked. Fine. If you wonder why I'm doing that, the game crashes every time it's loading. I don't know why, but it's getting to work. It's my thing. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. You just take your pick. Hello, once again. Um, yeah, if you saw that very hard cut I just did, it's because I did something very stupid. Uh, <laughs> I died, so... I also failed to save, so when I got here, I went on an adventure, so I know the area a bit, but uh, I went on an adventure, and uh, I died. And I thought that would be kind of boring to just see me do all that and just dying in the end and have to do it all again, so I cut it out, and I'm going to have to do it again, but hey, so that's what I just wanted to say. Also, my microphone's a different place, so the audio should be a bit higher, because, uh, Alright, let's knock this guy out and continue here, because I don't want him to eat my face and surprise me and, I don't know, let's just say that. I sh switched up my microphone, it's not a kind of a pen holder, but can, it's like a can, it's a can for... Why are you inter... Everybody's killing rats, I don't like that. I do not like everybody killing rats. This is a I don't want to hear from you, Lord Regents. I don't Lord like you. This is the Lord Regent speaking. All right. So, oh, whoa. Oh, well. what? Who is shouting impossible? All right, so let's go up here. Hup. This character is busy. Why are you busy? Oh. Yeah, right. I've been here. I already done this. Not so, not so much of a surprise, eh? But I have a mission here I can do that's quite easy. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I can see that. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them, but what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? <laughs> 